Hey everybody, <clears throat> Funny Bone here, and I was just listening just then to a lot of news and clips and all that stuff, and <clears throat> a lot of people was texting me and asking me was I watching the debate last night, and I was not, even got a couple of texts from uh, people that say they're from the Biden campaign, all that kind of stuff, uh, that's fine. I wasn't I, I wasn't watching it verbatim. I clicked on it a couple times and clicked off. That debate went just kind of like I suspected. They had Joe Biden grounded. He couldn't really say what he wanted to say. They was advising him not to say what he wanted to say really bad about Donald Trump. And I respect Joe Biden for that because he, he lived up to his word. He gave his word that he was not going to make it the, the debate about what bad Donald Trump has done and all that kind of stuff. He was gonna keep that to a minimum. He wasn't gonna mention nothing about his convictions, none of that, he didn't. He uh, honored what he said. But now the speech he gave this morning was a little bit different story. That was the real Joe Biden. Joe Biden said, I wanna be Joe Biden. And that's what he did today. Last night was not him. Today was. But anyway, more to that people, just like I told people that was texting me, calling me and asking me was I watching the debate. I, when I told them no, they were shocked. What, what, you wouldn't watch? No. To me, my opinion, the debate is for people that's undecided. People, y'all already know my, my, I'm already decided. I already made my mind up. So they ain't, I ain't got to even look at no debate to persuade me which way I'm gonna vote. So it didn't matter if I watched it all the way through or not. My mind is made up, people. Ain't no way in hell I vote that piece of trash in there, uh, Donald Trump. Donald Trump didn't do nothing last night at that debate but tell lies. That's all he did. Lie, like he always do. And just like Joe Biden said, he came in inherited a mess from do, uh, Donald Trump because he didn't do nothing, didn't solve nothing, caused more trouble than he even was worth. And it's taken Joe Biden three plus years to try to get stuff in the right direction. And he's doing it. You get Donald Trump in there, all you're going to have is propaganda. All you're going to have is a dictator. All you're going to have is somebody telling you what you can't do, what you're not going to do, criticize everything. You're not gonna have, you're not gonna prosper. And then all the presidents, they love to ask you, all the candidates, were you better off four years ago? Hell no. I can answer that right now. Four years ago, we were still in pandemic chaos. Thanks to Donald Trump. Downplaying it. Downplaying it. Millions of folks died from it. But he downplaying it. And like I said, people, I, I I didn't need no debate to make my mind up. My mind's made up. You either want decency in the White House or you want filth. You want somebody who in a, a, a couple of weeks is going to be sentenced. Y'all forget Donald Trump is out on bond. He's got to be sentenced on July 11th. Sentencing. What his punishment is going to be. And then I hear Elena Harbour on there spewing again, like a fool. He was not treated fairly. Hunter Biden is still walking free. Uh, shut the hell up. Donald Trump is still walking free. And he got 34 felonies. Yeah, he free out on bond. But he free, walking around. Elena Harbour, every time you get in, in, on a news outlet, Every time you open your big stupid mouth, you look just as dumb as you did the time before we saw you. You ain't redeeming yourself for getting better. Your ass getting worse. You still up there talking about they ain't treating Donald Trump fair. Where, what country treat criminals fair? What country treat criminals and, and roll out a red carpet for a damn criminal? What, com what country? And if it's a country exists, Donald Trump needs to move there. 
But up too late, he can't move nowhere. And do y'all understand, people? His stuff is about to be seized. Do y'all understand that? While y'all hopping on the debate, that debate ain't do nothing to sway my mind. Period. I'm rocking with Joe Biden, and I encourage y'all to rock with Joe Biden. Please rock with Joe Biden. Because it's going to be chaos if Donald Trump is back in there. I'm telling y'all. I'm telling you. He did horribly in the debate. He did horrible. He did horrible. Go and call it what it is. He did horrible. And all those promises, just like he did in 2016. All those damn promises, he ain't going to do not one of them. Not going to fulfill not one. Except for one. He's going to fulfill one of them. He'll be a dictator. And Margaret people, y'all think y'all safe? Once he be a dictator, he don't care about y'all. He already told y'all. Y'all was out there in Nevada at the point of death almost from the heat. And he told y'all he didn't even care about y'all. Only thing he wanted was y'all folks. And like I said, the, the other video, all the billionaires that supported Donald Trump, all the wealthy CEOs, some of the most powerful people in the United States, every last one of them disowned him. They was not going to donate one penny ever again to Donald Trump. And if Joe Biden is up there breathing and alive, they're going to vote for him. Just like all the rest of us. They always tell you, follow the money. The big money people saying Donald Trump is trash. That's the big people. The big money people. And you think they ain't got a whole lot of influence, people? When they stop supporting somebody, they tell their friends. But see, they ain't got to tell their friends because all their friends don't stop in it, uh, right with them. So they ain't got to tell them. They already done stopped. But we might as well follow suit. It's the big wigs. They know Donald Trump way better than we do. They know him personally. Some of them do. Some of them not saying they hate they ever knew him. But they did get to know him. They already knew he was a sleaze bag. All this stuff is going to come to fruition. All this stuff is going to come true. All this stuff, once it's played out, Donald Trump freedom will be no longer. He won't have no more freedom, people. And if y'all think that they're not working on that as we speak, y'all just a gullible as the MAGA people. Gullible. Elena Hubbard, if I were you, I wouldn't even show my face on no news outlet talking about something ain't being fair. Because really and truly, you hurt Donald Trump more than anybody. Not even knowing the damn court procedures. You probably still don't know him. Dumbass. Only thing you good at is, just like Donald Trump, only thing you good at is getting on these TV shows and lying. Talking about something ain't fair. What's Donald Trump plan for America? To be a part of it? Not to be incarcerated? That's what his major plan is. To try his best not to go to the who scout. But the who scout's calling you, bro. Got your name all over it. I wonder if they're going to put a T on the prison when you get the, one of those prisons they're going to put the T on it. Because that's going to be your damn Mar-a-Lago. A six by nine cell. That's gonna be your Mar Lago. So people, like I said, don't be fooled by that debate. Joe Biden is fighting. He he couldn't talk like he wanted to, and I understand. They wanted to be classy, even though the person that they wanted to be classy for is classless. Donald Trump. Donald Trump ain't got no class, period. Never had none. When he was in school, he was the dumbest one in class. So you, he ain't got no class. And then I hear him trying to cook up all this stuff. And then trying to get reelected. And you, right now, you out on bone. Can't pay the bone you out on. 
You don't even have the 464 billion. Stuff finna be sold, seized, repossessed, everything else. And like I said, it couldn't happen to a nicer jerk, Donald Trump. And I want to thank y'all for supporting me. But like I said, certain things that said and done that brought, that brought up the disabled veteran POW, and he denied ever saying it. And he said it multiple times in multiple speeches. Like that footage don't exist. He got up there right in that damn debate and lied. He never said it. You did say it. You said it repeatedly. But now you need those servicemen votes and stuff. Now look at you. Gotta eat your words like you never said it. You did say it. And people ain't forgot it. You think these people stupid? You think people forget what you say? Like I told y'all, they may not speak on it like we do, but people are not stupid. At all. So, and all his supporters still talking about what ain't found. He can't speak it. He can't do this. He can't do that. The offenders in this country are not treated equal. They lost their right to be treated equal when they committed the damn crime. Your equality is gone. Ain't no equality after that. Now the judicial system, they're gonna, they're gonna do it legally. They're gonna do it by the book legally. But showing special treatment to somebody that's a criminal, not gonna happen, people. But see, that's what rich folks think. Rich folks think just because they're rich that they're supposed to be pardoned. And that's a lot more rich people think like Donald Trump. That they supposed to be part. So a uh, post about Reggie Jackson, one of the greatest baseball players ever to be in New York. Mr. October, I remember him. I remember watching him. He was speaking about all the racism that he had to go through in New York. Sound familiar, people? In New York and other places. Very racial. Very, and he was called names by some of the prominent people. The N word. Yeah, this man instrumental in New York winning a couple of champions, a couple of World Series, and he got disrespected like that. Even though he played exceptional, he still got reminded that this is not an equal country. No country is. That's why you see some of the wealthier people in e either country. They get away with a lot more stuff than people that don't have money to come and people. And that's not right. That's not legal. And people, only thing happening now, people that's been used to been doing that for years and years, they're getting caught up with now. That's all it is. That's all it is. They're getting caught up with now. And they can't, people cannot risk their own livelihood to save somebody else's livelihood. You got a choice. You see something doing wrong, say something. You see somebody doing something crooked, say something. That go for the police officer. You see your fellow officers doing something, you are duty bound to correct them. Not sit there and watch them and not intervene. When you do that, you're just as guilty because it's your duty to intervene. So, people, you got to do it by the book. You got to follow the Constitution. And that's one thing Donald Trump can't stand. The Constitution. But now he's being made to follow it. And look at him. He's crying and whining through his people. Elena Harbour and all the rest of them crying. He can't do this. He can't do that. The Red Tie Brigade. He can't do that. They got him sitting there like he's helpless. He can't talk. That's what happens when you run your damn mouth. And you can't control your mouth. And then the judge had to gag your dumb ass. That's what happens. When you mess up like that. They don't give a damn who uh, complaining in your favor. They don't give a damn. Legally, they don't shut your mouth. Your mouth is shut. They don't care who uh, complaining in Donald Trump's behalf. They don't give a damn. But I bet you Donald Trump shut his damn mouth in court. Bet you that. If big, big bad Donald Trump was so bad, he would have defied the judge more than he did. He'd have been talking all out in court. He didn't do that, did he? He tried. Every time he tried to get out of line, they had to meet. Look at him. 
You tell that fool to shut the fuck up? Yes, yeah, he do. Point blank. You tell your dumb clan over there to shut his damn mouth. Don't be staring at nobody. Don't be trying to intimidate nobody. You might better tell him. So they done find him so many times. So that's going to be in the judge head when it's sentencing time. July 11th. July 11th. That's sentencing time. And any kind of, any, I'm talking about any kind of restriction they have on Donald Trump traveling and everything else, he's going to be in trouble, people. And the judge be well within his right to restrict his uh, movements and everything. House arrest, no matter how he does it. I'm telling you. So, y'all be ready. Because Funny Bone is. Funny Bone is ready. So, y'all like, comment, subscribe. I love all of you. Funny Bone going to bring you the latest. And like I said, people, go to the polls. Vote against that idiot. If you don't do nothing else right in your life, vote against that idiot. Funny Bone, be back with y'all. Next video. Funny Bone out.